What's up everybody? Ben here with The Spirit of Running and today we're talking about the Puma Forever Run Nitro. Alright, so for the technical specs, this shoe retails for $150, has a 10 millimeter drop and weighs 10.3 ounces. Uh, just a quick overview of the shoe, I think that this shoe is a ton of fun to wear. Um, Puma markets it as a stability shoe, but I think it's um, in that new line of stability, we'll talk about it a little later. But I think that this can be a, a really good shoe for just about anybody. Um, let's dig in and see what we've got. Um, moving from the bottom to the top, uh, we start with a really nice layer of Puma grip. Um, I've, I said this on the Deviate Nitro 2, and I, I stand by it on the Forever Run. I think that this is some of the best rubber outsole on the market um, through any condition, through um, you know wet, dry, um, pavement, or you know even a little bit of off-road, you know light trail. Um, I think that this shoe is going to do really well for you. Uh, moving into the midsole, they use a dual density nitrogen midsole. So if you look at the bottom, you, they've actually kind of shown like you got um, a firmer um, shell on the out on the the outer midsole, and then a softer softer midsole uh, here in the middle. Um, both of these are the the Puma nitrogen infused um, midsole, um, so it gives us just a really nice ride. I'm really excited that this is part of a new generation of stability shoe, where instead of putting like a really dense piece of uh, foam or a hard piece of plastic here on what we call the medial, the inside of the shoe, um, that's designed to you know, just resist any drop this way and almost push you out this way. Um, I think that this is part of a new line of shoes that's just designed to kind of guide and, and, and keep you right down the center there. You'll notice if you look at the bottom, um, there's a really um, exaggerated figure eight motion here. Um, and so what we do, what we get with that that flare, and you can see it from this side too, um, especially with uh, the bright colors of this midsole, um, you can see that there's a really big flare here at the forefoot, um, you know, and, and and a pretty decent flare here in the heel as well. Um, and I think what that's going to do is really give you just um, extra stability um, in 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 the truest sense, and that um, you know we're not gonna not gonna you know wiggle left to right a lot um you know if if, if the shoe just kind of comes straight down uh, it's a little easier to roll over to one side or the other but with this flare we've almost kind of created a, a pyramid base and 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 it's it's really hard to to roll over to either direction with that with that base um the upper i think fits fits really nicely um the dv8 nitro 2 i felt fit a little short um but like from the base through the upper, uh, I felt like I had plenty of room uh, on my size 10. It fits nicely true to size. Um, I didn't really have any issues. The only issue that I had um, with the upper in particular was, was right here um, on the outside of the ankle. Um, and it might just be my particular anatomy, um, but I did notice when I was walking, um, I had a little bit of rubbing here on the outside of the ankle. I don't notice that at all when I'm running. So I think that, um, you know, it may just be, you know, maybe my gait when I'm walking versus running. Um, but I did notice that it kind of sat just a little high, you know, but I, I really enjoy running in this shoe overall. Uh, runners and walkers, I think that this is a really phenomenal daily trainer for just about anybody. Um, while this is marketed as a stability shoe, I'm very much a neutral runner and I've put quite a few miles on this shoe and not had any issues with it. Um, I've really enjoyed all the miles that I put in on it as well. So I think that um, you know this this new line, uh, this this new generation of stability shoe um, is really going to be a great shoe for everybody. Um, where I think that this shoe is going to excel, especially for the neutral runners, is on your longer runs where um, you know maybe your form is breaking down, you're a little more fatigued. Having just that that extra wide extra wide base here, um, I think is going to going to really help, um, you know, just keep your form in check. Um, at 10.3 ounces, this isn't the lightest shoe on the market, but I think that it's a solid daily trainer and I think it's a solid long run shoe for anybody. Um, 
The other thing that I really like about this shoe is that um, it comes with a metatarsal pad in the stock insert. Um, what that metatarsal pad is going to do is just provide a little more support for the anatomy. Um, and again, I think that this is a really cool thing that Puma is doing to change the game on stability and what it means to wear a stability shoe. For the gym, I think that this, this shoe can really do, do well for a lot of people. Um, I think that the Puma grip is definitely a plus for this shoe as a gym shoe. Um, I think that you know when you're when you're digging in and and and, and really getting to work, that the grip on the shoe is not going to fail you. Um, having that slightly denser kind of outer shell to the midsole is also a big plus for a gym shoe in my opinion. Um, I think that the um, the overall feel when you're when you're lifting is that you're going to have a solid base underneath you, um, where. I, where this shoe is not going to be as great, and you're, you're going to hear this from me again and again, is any heavy movements from the floor or with, um, with a loaded barbell. Um, just be aware that that 10 millimeter drop um, is, is going to, as you come up off the ground, not going to put you in the best position. I think you can definitely compensate for that. Um, yeah, but again, that's that's the point where like if I'm going heavier and heavier, I'm just gonna take the shoes off, get my lifts done, put the shoes back on, and, and get back to work. As a daily wear shoe, man, this this is a comfortable shoe. Definitely give this one a look. Um, it's gonna be durable. It's gonna be soft. It's gonna be comfortable. Um, again, the only downside to this shoe as a daily wear shoe for me was you know kind of that that rubbing at the ankle. Um, but again, I think it's just me being a little overly sensitive and trying to make sure that I'm catching every detail um, you know, for the review process. Um, when I've worn the shoe to work, uh, I didn't really notice it that much. So it's, it's, it's not even something that I can say bothered me long term, um, but it, for me it was just something to be aware of. I think that um, you know, for, for just long hours on your feet, um, we've got really good cushion. Again, I think having that um, that new breed of stability shoe for a daily wear shoe, you can't really go wrong with that because it's only going to help um, you know kind of keep your overall um, form in in better shape as you're going through your day, and you know give you that that sense of of comfort, um, especially if if we're you know, on the longer shifts, you know, getting into hours 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, for our nurses and doctors, you know, 17, 18, 19, 20, um, for those really, really long days. Uh, I think that the Met Pad is a, a great addition to the shoe as well. Um, some people may notice that it feels just like a little bump in the, in the front of the foot, um, you know, but again, I think that all that does is, is benefit the support to the anatomy um, rather than taking away from anything. As a general overview, I think that this is a really phenomenal shoe. I think everybody should be looking at it. Um, I got this amazing colorway for the midsole because I just have, you know, when I was buying the shoe, I was like, well, if I can get this one, I'm gonna get it. Um, so I think that, you know, it's a fun shoe to wear. It's a shoe that I'm gonna be putting a lot of miles in. Um, if I'm picking a shoe just to kind of throw in my bag and just have at the ready for just any run that I'm doing, um, this, this might be one of the shoes that is gonna be the go-to just, you know, come in clutch and, and get it done. Um, because I do think that, you know, um, for easy runs, phenomenal. For session runs, it, it does pretty well. Um, probably not my pick for an interval shoe, but um, you know, again, I think that um, this is a shoe that can really do a little bit of, of, you know, a little bit of everything, but it does really well at that 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 easy run, long run pacing. Um, for me, as a as a bigger runner, um, I think having this extra structure without going full-on traditional support, um, you know, stability shoe um, is a huge plus. Um, it's one of the one of the things that I was really excited about this shoe is that I think that, um, you know, as, as somebody who's in that 200 plus pound category, um, there are some shoes that like I really enjoy wearing but I can't wear all the time um, because 
they just lack a little bit of stability um, at some point in the stride, whether it's in the heel or the forefoot or, or whatever. I think that this this shoe definitely brings all of that together in a really nice package and, and gives that extra support that we're looking for um, without being just overly corrected. Um, I think that this shoe does a really nice job of guiding you um, without taking away from your ability to let your your anatomy and your feet do what they should be doing and what you've learned to do over the course of your lifetime. Uh, if you have any questions about this shoe or any other shoe that we've talked about, drop those in the comments section. I'm always checking them and I try to make sure I'm answering them in a timely manner. Um, if the video was helpful, please be sure and like the video and don't forget to go subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on anything in the future. Uh, it also helps other people find the channel. So I uh, hope you have a good one and we will see you out there. Thanks.